Hi, this is George here, and one of the things I want to go through really quickly with you is uh, what can happen after you've suctioned out your patient with a closed suction system and your ventilator all of a sudden starts to have low tidal volume and low minute ventilation alarms going off if you're pressure ventilating your patient, or you could have high pressure alarms going off if you're volume ventilating your patient. So what has happened? The patient had airway care done to them. The trachea was suctioned with the closed suction system. The pharynx was suctioned using a suction catheter. The patient stabilized after uh, they were suctioned, but then the volumes tended to decrease, especially with pressure ventilation. So I'll kind of let you see what's happening with the ventilator. When you take a look, you can see that you've got that low tidal volume alarm going off. I can see it that well. Zoom out a bit. So what's happened? Well, essentially this patient was suctioned, not by me. They're suctioned and what ended up happening is whoever suctioned out the patient didn't remove the suction catheter all the way from their endotracheal tube. So whenever you're suctioning with a closed suction system, make sure the suction catheter is withdrawn the entire length out of the endotracheal tube properly. Because what that endotracheal tube does is it tends to increase the airway resistance and thus if you're pressure ventilating, it's going to drop the tidal volume delivery the patient's gonna, going to get. Sorry, I'm kind of having problems with this. So as soon as you pull the catheter out all the way, guess what? Look at our ventilator. The alarm condition has been rectified on this particular patient. The alarm that you hear is on another patient's ventilator going off right now. So it's really important with closed suction systems, always make sure that after you're done suctioning out your patient that you return the suction catheter back to its proper position. That way volume delivery won't be affected in pressure ventilation, nor will the ventilator uh, high pressure off if you're volume ventilating the patient. This has been George with a, hopefully a handy ventilation tip for you. Have a great day.